A single family is a family in its own right and it should be afforded the rights and supports that a first world government can provide, not victimisation. Make no mistake about it, these cuts are condemning people to poverty. It is unacceptable in such a wealthy nation as Australia. When we look after our kids, as everybody has said here, we're bringing up the next generation. We are bringing up the next leaders of this country. It is entirely unfair, unacceptable to condemn vulnerable families to living in poverty because that's what these cuts are doing. These are our kids and we're telling them, no, I'm sorry, you can't have extra food tonight because it's not there. These are condemning 84,000 single parents and their children, so in other words, hundreds of thousands of Australians to living in poverty. I'm sorry, no, you can't do sport to keep your mental health going because I can't afford it. We've just been through a debate on superannuation where it's, it's kind of become public knowledge for the first time that this Australian taxpayer spends more on funding tax breaks for wealthy people to contribute to their own superannuation than we actually pay on the age pension. The government is taking more money from single parents than they're taking from Gina Reinhart with the mining tax. So even some serious superannuation reform would also more than create the money that's needed to keep single parents on a single parenting payment that is above the poverty line. The Howard government started this process in 2006 with its so-called welfare to work reform, so-called reforms. It's, it's ironic that, that, that a single parents payment was first brought in in, in, in 1973 by a Labor government and as Mary pointed out it's, um, it's a Labor government that now wants to roll it all back. I've been a Labor voter all of my adult life and today as I stand here I am ashamed. Wouldn't it have been fairer and or more equal and definitely fairer to reverse the cuts to those single parents that were dropped there originally? The OECD have described the New Start payment as one of the lowest unemployment benefits in the developed world. Because we know New Start is inadequate. There's, there's no economic reason for it other than the fact that the government hasn't been prepared to take on the fight to, to, to even just do some modest wealth redistribution in this country. These cuts are unfair. They never should have been made. It is urgent they are addressed. I fear that what this legislation will do on a grand scale is keep women in homes, some of which are violent. You know, women who are in violent relationships, both for their own sake and for their sons, not to repeat that kind of behaviour, desperately need to be given every kind of support they can do to get them out of that situation. The majority of single parents are women, and this is a women's issue. And to make it harder, as Mary has pointed out, I mean, what kind of society are we, are we creating as a consequence of this? How can we do this to our next generation? It's not fair, it's not right, and it needs to change. So please, guys, don't give up. Today is a day we're here, we're all supportive. That's fantastic. Please don't go home and go, right, I've done my piece. It doesn't stop now. It doesn't stop until our kids are not going to live in poverty anymore. It doesn't stop until somebody makes a difference, somebody steps up, and somebody says, no poverty for these children. Yeah. Yeah.